peace and love everyone send you all positive energy have vibrations success on your entrepreneurship i love all positivity today i'm going to be doing a part two on the power of geometry and i left off by stating that the ancient ancestors was well in tune with nature okay they knew the power of nature so they were able to connect with the earth energy and vibrate on a high frequency okay so once they tapped into nature they were able to heal themselves naturally okay by connecting with the earth energy so like i told you all we had a sacred underground massive water system Giza Plateau okay the ancients navigated through Giza Plateau channeling energy technology information okay and they also navigated and lived there okay so just as well as we had the underground water system in Giza Plateau we also have the underground water system that is connected to the roots of the trees okay so once they are connected to the roots of the trees it helps us to connect with the earth energy of the power of geometry and also a higher level of consciousness with the cosmos so um i think i did the significance of trees on another video so trees is known for healing okay they have healing properties we can connect our electric magnetic field to a tree and be able to release stress, anxiety, tension, okay, and charge our energy up, okay? So the ancients had the knowledge of the power that we connect with geometry, okay? So we also can actually connect with the ancient ancestors from a tree. Um, we I always do like spirit meditating connecting with the uh, tree spirits or whatnot we also can connect with our ancestral um, DNA roots as far as our families and that's why the, the tree is actually symbolic to a lot of divine knowledge as well it's basically explaining the divine oneness throughout the collective consciousness it's explaining the connection with the cosmos it's also explaining our genetic uh, DNA uh, connection with the trees as well because we have family DNA history from the tree okay so a while back I did an ancestry um, ancestral.com and you know it helps us connect with the roots of our family to know who are always connected with us you know so when we think of the tree it's also symbolic to ascension you know it's um, known as a tree of life as well and then it's connected with the power of geometry some of the geometry symbols okay it's beautiful it's lots of geometry symbols okay tree of life we got egg of life we got flower of life okay we have the fruit of life and they're all symbolic to connecting with a divine source of oneness and once we have the overstanding of the divine source we then have the overstanding of who we are okay i'm leaning over so you guys can see me because y'all know rise is like right here so um once we tap in like i said we have the same energy and connection with the animal kingdom okay we can shape shift into an animal okay and that's why the ancients had the animal heads because they wanted us to have the understanding that the godhead of the animal could also be considered as a god okay and they also want us to have the understanding of we are immortal we can transmit into an actually animal as well okay so they wanted us to have the overstanding of that not only that we have a connection with nature okay so they wanted us to have the overstanding um for an example we can do a reiki healing 
on an actual tree okay or either a plant okay so plants communicate okay also the animal kingdom communicate as well so they want us to have the understanding of nature and divine oneness so that's why the symbols of the dome and the beautiful ancient artifacts was created you know the temples of the gods the holies of the holies because they wanted us to have the understanding of what they created outside was also inside okay as within so without and it's also connected to the power of nature okay so we navigate through nature daily you know and some of us is not aware of the power of it five 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 one o'clock so once we are aware we basically master ourselves and we have the understanding that we are all connected as one and nothing is separated you know it's abundance of trees it's abundance of light it's abundance of sun it's abundance of grass okay so it's eternally and everything moves in a 300 movement <laughs> eternally okay in shape in color in sound okay and in frequency you know so we must have the understanding of what was to know what is you know so once we tap into that divine source of nature okay we tap into the center okay the harmonizing field of love okay so we then have the understanding of universal life force okay and once we are operating out of the universal life force then we have a powerful energy okay we have mastered ourselves to understand like you know i see things for what they really are you know and i'm using the actual knowledge that i have to communicate connect with a tree connect with a plant you know because i understand the power of it and when i do i'm actually connecting with the earth energy which is connected with me so i'm connecting with a divine source okay so that's what the ancients you know they wanted us to know they want us to have the understanding of you know and once we return back to the power of geometry then we are operating from the harmonizing field of unconditional love okay so um you can check my actual instagram page out and i have pictures of the actual underground water system that was connected with the trees okay and it's just so we can have the understanding of you know how everything works everything in the universe has a meaning you know and i always say that when we go back and we look into traditions we have the understanding that everything has a different allegory okay and it's not going to all be the same thing but at the end of the day it's all a level of consciousness okay and it's all about how we perceive it you know and it's okay not to agree and i always say that you know but look at things from a bird's eye view and take all the knowledge in and just have the understanding that all the allegories are for us to have a learning experience and to look at things from a bird's eye view and just have the understanding of at the end of the day everything is symbolic to connecting together you know being as one putting all our different allegories together and sharing them and just like tradition celebrating them you know um no matter what they is you know making our own traditions we want to and celebrate them and have the overstanding will okay they um celebrated easter on this day okay but i i celebrate on this day and it's fine 9 39 you know it's okay you know once we have the understanding that not to separate ourselves due to our religious beliefs due to 
or different perceptions of things, then we'll have the overstanding of unconditional love because that's what it's about. It's not about, you know, judging. It's not about being separated, but it's about coming together and putting the knowledge that we have together um, as one big collective consciousness, you know, and seeing what can we learn and have soul evolution from these allegories that's in the universe okay because it's several <laughs> allegories okay spread it throughout the universe okay and it's just like astrology we have the greek we have the ancient um the dara calendar we have the chinese calendar you know we have many calendars okay but at the end of the day it's all symbolic to worship of the sun worship of the moon and worship of the stars okay and the earth energy you know the seasons okay winter summer spring and autumn you know and it's all about us connecting with the earth energy of the power of geometry to have the overstanding 11 11 that everything is connected <laughs> and i you know when i speak i'm like sometimes it seems like i'm repeating myself but at the end of the day that's what it all end up boiling up to because i always say up because we are seeing we rising you know we in the golden age of soul evolution happiness you know divine oneness collective consciousness of putting ideas and thoughts and healing out into the universe to help each other heal to help each other evolve you know it's just all about togetherness so um i find myself saying it but it, it's just like at the end of you know my videos it's like everything is boiling up to divine oneness you know the power of geometry connecting from the harmonizing field of the heart and just being unconditional love and elevating you know finding out all the different ancient traditions and what they were studying you know what they worships and their traditions you know and take them on if we'd like to to help us on our soul evolution you know and that's what it's about it's like the more we grow the more we elevate okay the more we ascend so the more we learn the more we grow okay so if we're not learning we're not doing anything we're stagnant you know so it's a huge universe full of knowledge you know and it's free you know it's free and also love is free unconditional love it don't cost zero nothing at all to tap in and learn the knowledge you know it's just like everyone is out here and they just speaking it and it's just it's beautiful so it's a great energy so i just wanted to come on and share some light about the actual power of geometry and the connection of the actual roots the trees with the underground water system okay and why did the ancient ancestors build the beautiful statues and monuments you know all over the globe also the original ancient calendar the mayan calendars all of them was symbolic to show us the power of geometry and how we are all connected and once we tap into that source we're tapping into a powerful source of divine oneness okay I love you all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You hit the like button. You leave me any comments or questions in my description below. And I'll be back with more. Send you all positive energy and high vibrations. I love you. Peace and love.